There was a slight massive security breach. A slight massive security Just breach. Massive. Just massive security breach. But everything's under control. So don't worry. I messed up the middle bit. Yeah, and that was a clip from the new AMC series Preacher based on the popular comic series that has resisted adaptation before. Here to tell us more is WSJ Entertainment reporter John Jurgensen. John, thanks for being with us. Sure. So who are the producers behind getting this made? Uh, some pretty familiar names. Um, if you know the work of Seth Rogen and his comedy films and, uh, and scripts that he's written and his uh, writing partner that he's known since high school, uh, Evan Goldberg. They are among the producers who brought this to the screen. So I, I'm curious if you have read the comic series. I have, I have it here. I'm holding it up. Pretty violent stuff. And it also seems the lead character is a bit conflicted, to say the least. Is the preacher at all sympathetic? Oh, sure. I mean, this is a great character, um, and he's also part of a, a number of great characters. And, you know, the anti-hero is a, now a long-standing tradition in cable TV dramas, so that's nothing new. But, uh, you know, certainly the level of violence is something that's going to be uh, possibly a deal breaker for some viewers, but that's nothing new for AMC specifically. You know, think about this as the home of The Walking Dead. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> if that's not if that's not some training for ultra violence on cable TV, I'm not sure what is. So give us an idea of how popular these comics are. Well, this is one of those comics that really has been held up and revered as one of the great sort of storytelling feats, um, especially of that era. It came out in 1995 initially and ran for about five years uh, uh, on the Vertigo Comics um, imprint, which is, you know, known for sort of pretty hardcore stuff in the comics world. Uh, but people really admire the storytelling and the ambitious level of storytelling in the comics uh, that were co-created by Garth Ennis and artist Steve Dillon. Um, so really they jump from all kinds of different places. If you're in heaven, uh, you're in these sort of like these demons from hell uh, are, are appearing. You're in different time places and settings. Uh, so it's really ambitious in a storytelling, but at the core of it is a group of characters mm -hmm. who I think a lot of readers really fell in love with and, and sort of, you know, wanted to follow on their journeys and, and Preacher being the, one of them. So is the writer of Preacher, Garth Ennis, who you mentioned, is he involved in the TV series? Uh, he is an executive producer um, because they own he, he and his partner own the copyright to the to the books, uh, which gave them real, uh, you know, a real level of autonomy and authority over the ownership. You, you kind of hear about a lot of comic book writers who didn't necessarily own the comics that they created, but he's of a generation uh, who took care to make sure they owned their copyrights. So, right. you know, he's, as he said in my story, you know, a lot of other people have tried to make this as a film or as a TV show, and uh, they, quote unquote, paid for the privilege of doing so even when they didn't make it happen. So uh, he's been, you know, kind of riding shotgun along with a lot of these efforts to make it happen. And I, from what he told me, he's very happy with the way this one's coming out. Well, you know, I'd never heard of the series before, but it turns out there are a lot of fans right here at the Wall Street Journal Digital Unit who've been filling me in. Apparently, in the way that the Walking Dead series started out at the same place as the comic series, they're departing from that here at AMC because the Preacher series is going to start out as a prequel to the first comic. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, in some respects it is. I mean, I think that the setting is going to be instantly familiar. I mean, we start, uh, you know, in the church more or less where the, where, uh, the preacher uh, played by Dominic Cooper is doing his work, but it lingers a little bit in this small town of, of, of his. You know, in the comics, they're, they're on this uh, road trip right away, and we sort of look at his background through flashbacks. Uh, here, the, the story is really taking, taking a little time to establish this community that he's working in, the congregation that he has, and sort of some certain characters who the showrunners and producers thought might be, you know, just quick appearing and disappearing characters who they kept on throughout the series right, right. through the first season. So I think what they're trying to do is just make this a little bit more grounding for the viewer who doesn't necessarily know the comics. I mean, we're all very familiar with the setting of the small town. Uh, and that's what it's doing. You know, it's putting this in a place and introducing us to a lot of characters. I mean, that being said, I mean, the, it's it's really sort of off and running from the very first bit. But it will be probably a little bit disorienting for for viewers who don't know the comic. Suddenly you're meeting all these crazy characters who are instantly recognizable to the readers. But for for instant, for new viewers, uh, they could be, you know, tough to uh, get a handle on necessarily. But, right. you know, that's the challenge for all these comic book universes that they try and bring to the screen, really. A lot of buzz, a lot of people looking forward to this series. John Jerkinson, thank you so much for that. My pleasure.